Since you attended this school, you've been responsible for one prank after another. Some of those must have been really hard to pull off. Like that tiger? Oh, that tiger was crazy. Ah! The thing about George and Harold is that they have a great sense of humor. And they're best friends. And their friendship uh, is really at the center, uh, at the core of the books and the core of the movie. Um, you know, so I think that one of the challenges that we had in taking the books and making them into a movie is making sure that we stay true to the spirit of the books. So the, the friendship at the center of it, and then, but also they're pranksters. And, you know, it's one thing to have parents have their kids read these books, and it's so funny, there's a guy in his underwear, and these kids who are throwing pranks, and the spelling's wrong, and it's really, you know, it's subversive. It's another thing on a big screen to see a guy in his underwear, you know, with these kids, and so, so it was a challenge. Put the pin down, Mr. Krupp, or we'll hypnotize you. <laughs> Start reading. Oh, what's happening? I don't know. Oh. When I snap my fingers, you will obey our every command. <gasps> George and Harold's um, main antagonism in life is Principal Krupp, who they turn into Captain Underpants. And yet, the villain, the true villain of the piece is Professor Poopy Pants. So it was kind of, it was a challenge to say, how do we structure it so that it doesn't feel episodic, so that we're clear on that it builds to, um, that, that the real antagonist of the movie is Professor Poopy Pants. You are now oh, the, the amazing Captain Underpants! Tra -la -la. I honestly didn't think that would happen. We were incredibly lucky. We have Kevin Hart, Thomas Middleditch, you know, uh, Jordan Peele, Nick Kroll, I mean, you know, Ed Helms. And the great thing is that each of, the, and Kristen Schaal, each of them are, are writers in their own right. They're great comedians and they're great actors, but they're, but they're writers. So we really took advantage of that um, in bringing them in. We always do that in, an, in our animation process in making these movies, but I think even more so in this movie I found that they really um, came in and sat with us in editorial and watched different versions of the movie and then uh, we would sit and talk and came up with lines as well as in recording sessions improvising a lot. Um, so that that was just an, you know an amazing advantage that we had on this movie. Poor soul, you're trapped in some sort of invisible box-like prison. Is it okay that I'm kind of loving this? Yes, enough. I will set you free. Oh, but mostly yes.